Hi, I'd like to continue the discussion of the To Do app. And uh, what I want to talk about now is setting up the design. Okay, so I have sort of a mock up here um, in Sketch. You know, this isn't really what my app is going to look like, but maybe I like this color scheme, so I'm going to use this. Um, uh, you know, I want to create a, a, you know, my, my table view, and I want it to look kind of like what I have here. And so um, I've created a color palette, and these are my colors, okay? And these are RGB values. So the values here should be 0 to 255 for each value, right? Um, and so let's see how we convert those into colors in iOS. So I'm going to go into my app here, and the app looks like this currently. It's, um, you know, it's got the standard iOS style, right? So it's kind of a white, light gray with a blue tint color there, right? So, uh, so how do we change those colors? Well, there's a couple places we can set the color. You can set the color in Storyboard, so you can select elements and you can set the color, you know, using the, um, the properties here in the Property Inspector. Um, you can also set the colors in code, okay? And there's a couple ways to do that. Um, setting the colors here in Storyboard is pretty good, but you can end up doing a lot of work there. Um, if you can set the color in code, sometimes you can set the color globally and you can just do it in one line of code and it, it sets the colors everywhere that element is going to appear. So um, I'm going to take that strategy. There's a couple things you can't set globally though and you need to set it, um, you know, it at, at the certain time that you're, you're creating the element. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, App Delegate. And this App Delegate is a file that is sort of a boilerplate file for the project and the the, this has some code in it that's just standard for every iOS project. Um, usually you don't have to tinker around with this file, but in our case we're going to use this method here called um, application did finish launching with options. I know it's kind of a long name, but uh, that's what it's called. Application did finish launching with options. So this, um, this function is called when our application is done launching, right? And before all of our views and view controllers are created. Okay, so this is a perfect time for us to set any default values. Okay, so what I'm going to do is up above this, I'm going to create a new function called app styles, like this, and then inside the application did finish launching with options, I'm going to call on app styles. So here I've defined my function, and then here I'm invoking that function or calling on it from this method. So, you know, when we get this message, application did finish launching with options, it, you know, the computer's going to call the app styles method and set up our styles, okay? And this has to go before the return true. Return true should be the last line here. Okay, so how do we set up our styles? Well, probably the easiest way for this, us to do this is to define some colors, right? So, um, and we could write the colors into code, but it's kind of better for us if we're going to have colors that we reuse um, that we just define a variable for them and then we can have that we can use that variable everywhere that color appears so I'm gonna name my colors one two three four and I'm gonna put them in order like dark to light okay so color number one is gonna be a UI color so UI color is a standard color object that um, is built into iOS and everything that you know you can set a color on you can set it with a you usually assign a UI color to it okay so UI color has a couple different ways to set the color. So you can set the color using a white value. This is actually a grayscale too. So you know if we set the value here, the white value from zero to one, zero would be black and one would be white. Okay. Um, all the values here, the CG floats for for all these options are going to be um, zero to one. Okay. So if we if we choose this one, this would be a red, green, blue. Um, color value and you know if we set the red value to one that would be a hundred percent red you know hundred percent green would be one green okay um, so I'm gonna set my first color here as a as a red green blue color okay and um, you know it's a little hard for me to convert the um, zero 
to 255 values that you see here into 0 to 1 values. You know, I'd have to do some math, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the math here. So my first colors are, you know, 40. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 40 divided by 255. And that gives me the range of 0 to 1, okay? And then the next value here was uh, 45 and 45 divided by 255, right? And then for the alpha, we'll just set that to 1. So there's my first color. And then I'll set another color. And I'll do this one also as a red, green, blue color. And this one's going to be 54 divided by 255. 61 divided by 255. 61 divided by 255, right? So there's like a dark gray. And then I'll do another color here, color number three. And this will be my, uh, my light gray. And we'll do this one for fun. We'll do this one differently, right? So if we just want to set a gray value, we can use the white color here and just set it to, you know, 146 divided by 255 or, you know, 0.5 or 0.1 or whatever the value would be. Right? So again, these values need to be 0 to 1, but I know that my maximum value here would have been 255. So if I divide by 255, then I get 0 to 1. Okay? For my last color, and this is my red color, let's make this an RGB value. And it'll be... Uh, was it 77 something like that right so there's my color values okay so now if I want to set the properties of things right um, really at this stage in our program our application hasn't built anything yet so there's no objects in the program every class has an appearance proxy and you can set um, appearance features of that class through the proxy and so when those objects are created they grab their default values from the appearance proxy okay so let's try that with the um, with the UI nav bar right so we'll set a couple properties on that I'm gonna say a UI nav bar navigation bar dot appearance and uh, the nav bar actually has a couple settings um, I'm going to set the um, the bar style, right? And it kind of has a couple settings that you can choose. Um, I'm going to do it UI bar style dot. And this is an enum, so it has a couple values that you can choose. So I'm going to choose um, black, right? So that'll just make the nav bar black. And then let's do another one. Let's say navigation bar appearance dot um, tint color, right? And so the tint color is the color of the, like the icons and things that appear on the bar. And I want to use color number four for that, okay? So uh, so in the, and then by setting this again here in, in app styles in our, you know, app delegate file um, as the appearance proxy, we're going to be setting this for all navigation bars that the computer is going to create. So whenever it creates a navigation bar, these are going to be the default styles for it. Let's give it a test. Oh, there we go. So there's my, my navigation bar right there. And, th you know, this doesn't look quite black because the navigation bar is transparent by default. I don't know if you can quite see it there, but yeah, you can just see the the text kind of gets blurry and passes underneath, right? But uh, but this is partially transparent, and that's why it's gray instead of black. But then there's the tint color there is the red, right? Okay? And you can see, like, the nav bar on this screen gets the same setting, right? So there's the basic idea of using the appearance proxy, and everything has this. So, you know, any object like UI button, you know, every, every object will have an appearance proxy, and you can set the properties of it, you know, or the basic appearance properties through the proxy, and, you know, 
you know, you're setting the, the default appearance of that element wherever it appears inside your application, okay? And we'll, we'll continue. I have a few more things to say about this, but I'll put it in the next video.